Well, good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to the uh, Monday, September 9th, 2019, Federal City Council meeting. Dad, Madam Clerk, ask that you call your first speaker. Yes, ma'am. We have 11 speakers signed up this evening. Our first speaker is Mr. Sean McMillan. We're here to request the Fayetteville City Council move to implement a police civilian review board in accordance with Ordinance 2-43 of the Fayetteville Code of Ordinances. Fayetteville reacted in 2012 to statistical evidence of over-policing and excessive use of force in part by inviting the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives, Noble, to conduct a study here in our city. Based on recommendations of the 2012 study, the City Council backed plans to improve transparency and oversight by installing a citizen review board. The concept of a citizen review board, also known as a civilian review board, is not new to the U.S. Uh, there are more than 200 models of civilian oversight in the country. Actually, the concept now is not new to Fayetteville. Surprises many to know that the ordinance 2-43 actually lays out standards, responsibilities, and composition of the CRB. The ordinance was signed by Mayor Schiavone in 2013 and is still listed along with every other active ordinance the city maintains. So our question is, why is it six years later there is no CRB? Why are we so heavily dependent on the Fayetteville Police Department internal affairs when a working group spent months designing a CRB that allowed for external oversight? What is stopping the current and sitting members from the, of the board from implementing what was decided on six years ago? Clues from a 2014 Fayetteville Observer article seem to indicate that the Police Benevolent Association was behind pressure to abandon the CRB. The article suggests that uniform officers lined the city hall as a measure to postpone went up for council vote. So think about this. The police interfered and insisted that the police police the police. To be clear, we absolutely respect and honor the women and men of the FPD and appreciate the work that Chief Hawkins puts in every day. However, we know that without a doubt that this, it is possible to respect their work while also respecting a process that gives citizens oversight and involvement. We had a chance this weekend to speak with the majority of candidates in the municipal elections and deeply appreciate what we saw as a sincere commitment to enacting policy that increases accountability while bolstering confidence in our city's law enforcement. We were encouraged to see that the majority of you voiced support for CRB in a recently re released Democracy NC Voters Guide. We look forward to seeing your action on this matter, and I thank you for your time. Thank Sir. you. Our next speaker is Ms. Kathy Greggs. Tonight I would like to talk about what is police corruption. The question holds a different meaning for every citizen. Corruption in the police force results in destruction of communities' trust. All past laws enforcement cases are open, questioning the community itself and the disorder of breach of trust. Therefore, it needs to be dealt with, and people need to deserve the affecting rights of all people for the police force. The case that is in question in the trust is Rashad Edwards' case that was filmed immediately on YouTube as well as in the media. Fayetteville in July, two, July 16, 2018. Since then, there has been little but no transparency within the organization bodies that serve the people inside the city, city council, and county commissioners. This case is currently pending in a video detail showing that at the time there was planted drugs inside the home of Mr. Rashad. Mr. Rashad residents and drugs were recovered at his daycare center. Corruption of the police officer erodes the trust of citizens. Police officers are the portrait of protectors and if it turn out that they're the bad guys, then who can we trust? Considering that most of the officers have recently resigned or have left the police force due to this corruption, Mr. Ever and the citizens really deserve the right to know why we have not gave an answer to him. I represent Fayetteville Police Accountability Community Task Force as the vice president. Because I represent that, I feel that we should have a citizen review board which will assist the questions that are unanswered, foreseen, unaccountability for police. The community deserve a strength which serve to protect and protect and serve those, and we deserve accountability from any officer here in the city of Fayetteville. We must start now. We must allow Mr. Edwards and any other citizen in, in Fayetteville to understand that accountab accountability upholds. The people should not rest until the demands are heard from their elected officials, which voted decisions upon having a citizen review board. 
The, poli the people are, one, are the ones who are able to vote for transparency in the police department. We have already discussed earlier about having a citizen review board. We must hold everyone accountable for their actions in the city of Fayetteville, and we ask you to uphold them as well. Thank you.